Hi everyone, welcome to Tadpole's Lesson 10. Welcome back. And we're going to be learning about money. So a quick lesson on money. So we have, I think we have quart, let me change the color. We have quarters, nickels, dimes, and pennies. Those are four different types of cents. So quarters are going to be the biggest coin. These ones are 25 cents. And they are quarters. Next, we have um, Nick. Actually, let's um, switch these two so we can do like of most value. So dimes are pretty small. They're like, um, I think they're smaller than a penny to even. Um, so dimes are 10 cents, pretty small. And then nickels are five cents. They're kind of big, smaller than a quarter, but a little big. And then pennies, these ones are copper. So I'm just gonna color that in. And that's like, oh no, why, why have I been putting dollars? They're 25 cents. So it would be a 0.5 of a dollar. So it'd be 0.5 of a dollar. pennies. So those are our coins. Okay, so here we're going to see how they look. So these ones are quarters because they're the biggest. The ones... Actually, wait, these are these might be half dollars. So sometimes there's these things called half dollars. They aren't in much use anymore, but we still kind of use them sometimes. So let me just check. So yeah, I think these are half dollars. Let's go from the smallest though. So these are pennies. So we have five pennies. So that's five cents plus, and these little ones, these ones are dimes. So these are 10 cents each. So um, we have 20 cents with those two. These ones are nickels, so we have three nickels, so that's 15 times three, that's 15 cents, and we have four quarters, so that's um, one dollar or a hundred cents. So let's add those up real quick, so we have one point, that's 40, 140. And then we have three half dollars. So half dollars. So if each dollar is um, one dollar or a hundred cents, then a half dollar must be 50 cents. So if we have three half dollars and each are worth 50 cents, if we do 50 times three, that's 150 cents. So we're going to do 140 cents plus 150 cents. And we get two ninety cents, and or in other words, two dollars and ninety cents. Let's check that. Yep, we did that right. Okay, now we're gonna move on. So now we have one, two, three, four, five half dollars. So if each one's fifty cents, we're gonna do fifty times five. That's two fifty plus. We have one, two, 
three quarters if each quarter is worth 25 cents or a quarter of a dollar. We're going to do 25 times 3, and that's 75 cents. We have one dime. Each dime is worth 10 cents, so that's 10. We have two nickels. Each one is worth 5, so we're going to do 5 times 2. That's 10. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pennies. Each one is worth 5, so we have 5. Now we're going to add these all up. Um, if we do, this is 100, so if we do 250 plus 100, we get 350, in other words, that is $3.50. For this one, we have 1, 2, 3 half dollars, 50 times 3, 150, we have 1 quarter, 25, Three dimes, 30. One, two, three, four, five nickels, five times five, 25, and four pennies. So this is 84. 84 plus 150 is going to give us. 234. For this one, we have one, two, three, four, five half dollars. If each half dollar is 50 cents, five times 50, that's 250 cents right there. Plus, we have three quarters. Each quarter is worth 25, 75. We have one, two, three, four, five dimes. Each one's worth 10, 50. We have four nickels. Each one's worth five, 20, and four pennies. So this and this is 300 plus 24 plus 75 is 99. $3.99, $3.99. We have one half dollar, so that's 50. Three quarters, 75. That's one, two, three, four, five dimes. That's going to be 50 cents. Four nickels, 20. Oops. And three pennies. Um, we can put these together. That's going to be a hundred, and then these ones together, that's 95, 98. 198 cents. In other words, one dollar, 90 cents. Okay, so we have two half dollars, so two halves of a dollar makes one dollar, so that's a hundred cents. Plus two quarters, that's a 50. Two dimes, that's 20, one nickel, five, and then three pennies. So if we put this all together, that's 100, 150, 170, 175, 178. In other words, $1.78. Did we get it all right? Yes, we did. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys some practice. This might take a while, so I'll give you a bit more time. Okay.
Let's move on. Here are the answers. Okay. I'll do the first two and I'll give you guys the next three. So there is one half dollar, so that's 50. One quarter, that's 25. One, two, three, four, five dimes, that's 50. Two nickels, that's going to be 10. And four pennies. So this is going to be 100. And then these ones together make, what's that? That's 39. 139 cents, which is $1.39. cents. We have three half dollars, so 50 times three is 150 cents. We have four quarters. Four quarters makes one dollar. One dollar is 100 cents. We have one dime, one nickel, and five pennies. These together makes 10. So that's, um, that's 250 and then 270 which is $2.70. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys the next three to work on.
So you guys should be done. There are the answers. Oops. Seems to be... Okay, so now we're going to count the money. So we have different bills, and these ones are pretty easy to count because they say how much they're worth right here. Let me change the color because it's you can't really see it on these. So for these, we have two $20 bills. So that's $40 right there. We have one $10. We have two $5 bills, which is going to be 10. And then we have two $1. So 40 plus 10, that's 50. Plus 10 plus 2. 50 plus 10 is 60. 60 plus 2 is 62. So we have $62. For this one, we have 120. This is 20 plus 10, 30, 30 plus 10, 40, 40 plus 5, 45 plus 1, 46 plus 1, 47. So we have a total of 47 right here. We have 120, two tens, so this is 20. These two together is going to be another 20. And then a 5 and a 1, that's going to be 6. So we have 46 right here. This one, we have a lot of bills. Okay, so two 20s. 1, 2, makes a 40. Two 10s, 1, 2, makes 20. Two 5s, makes a 10. And then one two $1 bills makes $2. So this is 60, 70, 72. For number 5, we have two 20s, that's a 40, two 10s, that's 20, two 5s, that's a 10, and then two $1. This is the same as the previous one, I think. 72. Um, these two look about the same, so let's just do six. We have one twenty, one ten, one five, and one one. So twenty plus ten, that's thirty. Thirty plus five, thirty-five. Thirty plus one, thirty-five plus one, thirty-six. Whoops. So that was a weird three. That's thirty-six. There we go. Now we're going to have to add coins to this. So let's count the bills first. So 20 plus 10, that's 30. 30 plus 5, 35. 35 plus 1, that's 36. 36 plus 1 is 37. So we have $37 in bills. Now for coins, we have 1, 2, 3 quarters. So 25 times 3, that's 75. We have 3 dimes, 3 th times 10, 30. 2 nickels, 5 times 2 is 10, and then 3 pennies. So we're going to add these up. This is 75 plus 43, that's 118. So that's going to be $1.18 plus the $37 we have in bills, so we're just going to add up our dollars first. We have 38 and the 18 cents remaining. So we have $38 and 18 cents. Okay, so we're going to count up the bills again. 20 plus 20, 40. 40 plus 10, 50. 50 plus 5, 55. 55 plus 5, 60. And then 60 plus 1, 61. We have 61 in bills. Now let's count up our change. So we have 3 quarters, 3 times 25, 75. 3 dimes, that's um, 30. 2 nickels, 10, and then 1 penny. That's 1 cent. 
So these add up to 41, it's 116 cents, which translates to $1.16, plus the $61 we had before, that gives us 62 16 so we have 62 dollars and 16 cents okay i'm gonna let you guys work on these three And here are the answers. Okay, here's more practice. We're gonna pause 
guys can work on these with the bills and the change. Here are the answers. And then for our last set, I'm gonna do the first two. Okay, so we have a 20 plus 20, that's 40. 40 plus 10, 50. 50 plus 10, 60. 60 plus five, 65. 65 plus one, we have 66 dollars in bills. Now we have two quarters, that's 50, plus two dimes, that's 20, plus two nickels, 10, plus one penny. That's 70, plus 11, 
That's 81 cents. Plus $66, we have $66.81 together. Okay, for this one, 20 plus 20, that's 40. 40 plus 10, 50. 50 plus 10, 60. 60 plus 5, 65. 66. And $67. For this one, we have three quarters, 75, plus two dimes, that's 20, plus one nickel, five, plus one penny. Right here, 25, 75 plus 25 is one dollar, 100 plus one, that's one dollar and one cent, plus our previous 67. So we have $68.01. I'm going to give you this last set of practice.
And here are the answers. If you have any questions, let me know.